Thank you, Mr. Chair. I stand here today on behalf of the Michigan Legislative Black Caucus with my uh, colleagues to recognize the oldest African-American holiday, Juneteenth, which was uh, recognized in Galveston, Texas, when Union General Gordon Granger announced freedom from enslavement in the Southwest, the last major geographic vestige of enslavement in the United States following the end of the Civil War. This occurred more than two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation was issued by President Lincoln. So therefore, the Michigan Legislative Black Caucus would like for all to wear their freedom ribbons to recognize this very special holiday. Chair recognizes Representative Shore. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, colleagues, also I'd like to recognize um, we have the Lansing Juneteenth Committee here, so Representative Cochran and I would like to, to welcome some folks. Um, we have Marilyn Plummer, the chair of the committee, Susan Henderson, a uh, committee member, Felicia Owens, a committee member, Marsha Plummer, and Reverend Deborah Holt Foster that are up in the gallery. And even more importantly, they have not only come to say hi, but they have come with food in the, uh, in the speaker's library. So I, Mr. Speaker, I hope that we can welcome uh, our folks in the gallery. Well, the very special guests of Representative Shore, please rise and welcome to the House of Representatives. <laughs> 